Morning, folks. It's been a long week, a uh, long couple of weeks, actually. We've been working on that project over there. It was about 8,000 feet of fence. We went back over there yesterday and uh, installed the automatic gate openers. There was a few parts missing. We're going to have to go pick those up on Wednesday and finish that project up, and then it'll be done. It was a long, hot couple of weeks. Uh, Polly's sister was here. She helped us. Uh, George came down. He helped us. But we got it all knocked out. They're under fence. They got gates. Uh, so now the range cattle are not coming through the property and tearing that up. So uh, today has been the first day that we've actually had off. Over the weekend, we went to what we call Christmas in July. Uh, we have a big cookout. Um, actually, uh, didn't get any of it on video took um, Buck the goat uh, We we butchered him uh, took the meat up there everybody got to eat so It was really good. The meat was really good uh, We had mutton stew um, You want to call it goat stew you can uh, we had roasted mutton we had just everybody got to take home some uh oh, the water's running over. <clears throat> Always hauling water. Alrighty, folks. Another day. We got the gates installed. I'm going to take and I'm going to show you the. <laughs> show you the baby not the labor pains I'm not, I, we didn't bring you any of us building the fence but we're going to show you the finished product uh, show you how that goes alrighty folks this is the gate system it's a mighty mule automatic gate opener um, it comes with a lock that locks and unlocks automatically I'm having to do a voiceover because the wind was blowing so bad they have a keypad out front and this whole system is run on battery and solar panel. So this is the the back side of this property. Sorry about the wind earlier. Um, we put a water gap in right here. You guys can see this. This wash hardly ever gets up, but when it does, uh, it it takes and breaks away. I've had some had some bank caving over here. Banks caved in right there and right there. But this section right here was only about 600 and some odd feet. Um, most of the sections were a quarter of a mile. Uh, the back of the property was a half a mile. But they're really excited about having their place fenced off, keeping the cows out, and their property secure just want to take and show you guys instead of taking and show you the process I thought I'd just show you the finished product just one more thing I want to show you guys here in this fence line we're coming over a a sharp little cliff uh, into a wash this is a whole this wash right here runs water pretty much all the way up in here and this is what we call a Y brace. Um, we drive a post in at an angle and then tie from the bottom of it to the top of the post that's in the wash. Do the same thing on the other side. And then we tie the two bottom wires 
to that post as much as we can and that helps hold the fence down too because once we stretch this uh we had people hanging on this uh to tie these off and uh, it, it was quite the challenge to to hold them down while they tied them but that's that's what we did this section right here was a quarter of a mile from a gate up on top of that hill all the way over to the other side of that wash that we just came from so really good looking fence this was a little bit challenging right here with the rock but with the help of some really young industrious men we got the post in the ground all righty folks i'm kind of in a hurry uh got a young man who is going to take that mare and uh, he is a Navajo cowboy he works for the uh, tribe and uh, he said he needed another horse to take work with I told him her issues he said he'd take her he may use her for a brood mare he may use her for a pack horse uh, irregardless he's going to take her so go down here and meet him alright this is Delano your last name's Sosie right? Yep. and he is an Navajo cowboy he's he been working for the tribe some with the uh, New Lands is that correct? Yeah. New Lands Cattle uh, Management and uh, had a roundup the other day I seen a lot of pictures you posted <laughs> yep. so he come over here to, to take this mare uh, she's a big old mare I've told him her issues. Uh, he'll see if he can't take and find a place for her. So I'm gonna ask somebody else to take and run this camera. We'll go in there and get her and see if we can't get her loaded on this trailer. She does have a setback problem. So we're gonna handle her with kid gloves. Youngin, you wanna run this? Just don't hit it. Cause it'll make a lot of noise. Mm -hmm. Flies been terrible this year. See if I can go up in here with her. You want to get ready to shut the gate? Yeah. Teenager, I'll say that much for If you open that door, just, she'll just back right on out. She shouldn't be no issue. All right. Enjoy. Yeah, <laughs> Alrighty. Delano's a pretty good hand. He's learning how to be a cowboy. He's learning how to be a horseman. 
and uh, you know I told him the horse's issues uh, he's been wanting a horse to work with of his own he, he works with some people's horses and like I say he's learning and the best way I know to learn is to deal with problem horses uh, they'll teach you how to problem solve they'll teach you how a horse thinks uh, and they'll teach you what not to do that's for sure so he knew what what he's getting into he knows she has a setback problem uh, he knows she has issues he's totally aware of that um, and he's a young horseman uh, making his bones so to speak so uh, he's got to take and he's got to learn it uh, if I can contribute to his education, I'll do that. So uh, the mare's just sitting here eating. I don't have time to fool with her right now. I got my hands full with the gray horse, the roan horse, the black horse, my horses, other people's horses. Um, she's just one more horse that I don't I don't have time for right now. So Delano's going to take her, and he'll keep me up to date on her, and make sure she's doing good. Uh, she's a She's, she's got her ticks, she's got her problems, but she's an older horse and a lot of older horses do. Uh, he's, he's in for an education and, and he's, he's walking into it with his eyes wide open. So now I got to go take and work with another horse. He's about a three or four year old bay and uh, he's not broke the lead. Uh, he come off the same ranch that Stetson came off of. That's what my black horse is called now and uh, we're going to take it go over there and see if we can't get rope on him get him broke to lead all righty folks i'm going to take it in this video up right here remember to like share subscribe tell your friends about us and tune in next time to see what we take and get into next remember if you don't know which way to go in this old world commit your ways unto the lord trust also in him and he'll bring it to pass we'll See you later.